Hey guys, when I tell you I've had the worst morning, I've had the worst morning, but we're trying a new restaurant today. We're gonna like, you know, try to get our mood up. We're gonna try, this thing isn't even focusing. Oh, I know why, I'll be back. See, even little things, even like little things are going, like literally, I mean, like my train decided to go express three times on the way here. And I had to like walk from like, ten, and it's sweaty and I'm not gonna start. I'm not gonna start. This is not gonna be a whiny video. <sighs> it's gonna be fine. Okay, let's have a seat and then we can chat about where we're at. Hey, all right, hi. Okay, so we are at New Leaf. They just opened up on 23rd Street. It's from the same owners, I think, as Terry. If y'all remember Terry, they're closed now, but you know, same, same. Not same, same, just like same owners, I think, and a lot of the same staff and stuff. Um, so I'm here. I'm cooling down a little bit. Let me show you the menu. I already ordered. I think the food's gonna be good because it smells good in here. It's so bright and pretty in here too. Just like good vibes, do you know what I mean? Um, but let me show you the outside and the menu. Here it is. Come on, focus, there you go. They do like burgers and sandwiches and bowls and salads. Like a good place to pick up like a sort of lunch. You know what I mean? They have a cute little fiddly fig. Is that a real plant wall? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just assumed this was fake. It is real. The plant wall is real. Oh my goodness. Okay. So here's the whole menu. Pause to read. We got bowls, salads, handhelds, smoothies, shakes, um, extras and sides. So for bites, I'd get like one of each of the four things. So for the bowl, we're going with chorizo fiesta. And then for salad, we're doing buffalo chicken with blue cheese dressing. Uh, handhelds, we're getting the a bacon chicken. And then we're getting a almond delight smoothie shake, I think. Dang it, I totally forgot. Um, we'll see when it comes out. The food is here, and I've already given this place like a category in my mind. Okay, so like, help me out. So what is it called when a restaurant has like really good looking food, but like it doesn't, it doesn't look like, this is such a weird, okay, bear with me. You know like sometimes like really yummy food makes you feel like shit, right? But then like really healthy food doesn't feel you right and it doesn't feel like, mmm, you know? But then there's like this middle thing where I, I would categorize it as like dig in, where like the food is like really filling, but like it's also like full of veggies and like healthy shit. So like you eat it and you're super full and you're really happy, but like you don't feel like shit. Categorize, does that type of restaurant have a name? Let me know. Anyway, so that's the vibes I'm getting here. Let me show you the food. I got the sandwich and the bowl and the salad. So here's the bowl. We have chorizo, brown rice, guacamole. I'm guessing it's sour cream, but I'm gonna like look at the menu to make sure. And we have like a corned bean salad and some tortilla chips. And then here's the sandwich. I kind of messed it up. Actually, I really messed it up by taking pictures with it, but it's supposed to be, um, mushroom bacon with chicken and cheese and like lettuce and stuff and then here is the salad i'm actually really looking forward to this so we have buffalo chicken pickled onions tomatoes cucumbers and blue cheese dressing oh blue cheese dressing y'all know if y'all know y'all know oh and before y'all say anything that is from curling iron but rebecca like why isn't your hair all cute and shit well i told you i had a bad morning okay okay anyway um sandwich first Okay, so chicken is from Maywa, which means I already know it's gonna have great texture. Mushroom is bacon. Bacon is mushroom. <laughs> and let me see the menu. I, I um, took a photo of it. Oh, 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 one more thing. Of course I'm missing something. Um, this bread, my favorite bread. So I have high hopes. Focaccia. Oh, there's ranch on here. So mushroom bacon, mushroom bacon, grilled chicken, cheddar, ranch dressing, focaccia. Ooh, focaccia. I wanna make my own one day. Have y'all ever seen like focaccia art? I wanna do that. <laughs> this is very good. Exhibit chicken. It's like shreddy, you know? May one may have like my favorite chicken. This shit's scoring high. Delicious. Like, really good. Oop, that was gross, I'm sorry. Like, I only have one critique. 
and I wish the focaccia was like crispy. It's like soft, you know? If it was crispy, it would hold everything together better. But flavor, fantastic. Let's figure out what that little white blob is. Mm, cashew sour cream. Yeah, I figured it was sour cream. One more look. Is it fair to eat this whole thing with the tortilla chips involved? Involved? Included? Ooh. I'm gonna try this sour cream. Yeah. Mm. Eating with chip is a superior eating like method. For sure. I think you're supposed to like crumble it and then put the chips on top, but dip scooping is always the best. Delicious, straightforward, a good lunch portion, at least for me. Got some veggies, protein, carbs, yum. So a long time ago, when I was like super into the gym and shit, I wanted to do like a meal plan. Oh, should I tell people this and someone's gonna use it? Ugh, whatever. Just know that if someone uses it right now, I thought of it first. I want to make a meal plan where like you like meal prep healthy foods with the macros involved. I used to count macros. Anyway, um, and I always thought it was like really important that these foods were like super yummy too. So I was going to, I used to say this thing all the time that says yum is a macro. Like whenever you're cooking food, you have to be aware of like protein, fat, carb, but also yum. And my like meal plan was gonna be yum is a macro. And I just think, I just think I shouldn't have given that away for free. We're starting off strong because I love pickled onions. We're gonna try the blue cheese. For those of you who haven't been around for a while, some vegan blue cheeses taste good, but I haven't yet found one that tastes like blue cheese. I used to be a big blue cheese snob before going vegan, so it's like, it's like a thing for me. You know what? Okay, <clears throat> let me do one more time. This is the most blue cheesy blue cheese that I've had since going vegan. And I'll say that enthusiastically. I don't think it's all the way there, right? But it is the most of the way there of all the vegan blue cheeses I've ever had. It is in the forefront. When they said their vegan blue cheese was good, I was just like, okay, yeah. But they were not lying. Okay. Oof, this bite is too wide. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna do this to myself. We're gonna do a smaller bite. I've had way too many things go wrong today and I'm wearing new jeans because I split my other ones going dirt biking. Let's not ruin a new pair as well. There's only one thing about the salad I would change. I would add something else to like make it more substantial. Maybe quinoa. Cause right now it's like chicken, lettuce, tomato, cucumber, pickled onion, blue cheese. I don't know if quinoa would go well with blue cheese. I don't know. Maybe a chef, a smart chef person. But you know like sometimes when you eat a salad, you need like some sort of grain in it to like hold you over. I feel like this would need a grain. It should be a full meal. Unless you're going low carb. At that point, enjoy. Maybe croutons. Just something. My day is already better because I've been on the hunt for a blue cheese like this for a long time. If they could find a way to make this like shelf stable, I'd buy it. Mm. I forgot the shake. Although, I don't know about the base of the shakes, so I have to ask, but. Look how pretty. A whole last peanut butter cup. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. I wish I could bring this home to Roberto without it turning disgusting. This might be one of the best milkshakes I've had since Rip's Malt Shop. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ask them about the base. Be back. So, update. Um, this is Temptations Soy Cookie Dough Ice Cream. That's the base for this one. So it's soy based. Freaking amazing, bro. Freaking amazing. Other than the blue cheese, the blue cheese isn't a meal though. I think the best thing is this sandwich. What if I put blue cheese on the sandwich? Mm. 
Yes. Um, review. What would I get? I would get the chicken bacon sandwich for sure, for sure. I would get the milkshake for sure, for sure. And this is coming from someone who like doesn't generally drink milkshakes. I definitely approve. And then a side of blue cheese to put on the sandwich. Um, no, the honestly the bowl and the salad were pretty good. So if you wanted not a sandwich, you could do that. But I decided that I will take him back the milkshake because it's so good that even if it comes back melted, which it will, he will still enjoy it. So if that goes to show you how good this milkshake was, because usually if I like. <clears throat> have a leftover of something that doesn't travel well, I'll unfortunately throw it away because it's hard to carry and then it'll show up like melted, you know? But they, this one's worth drinking melted, I think. How do these bag work? <laughs> I think I got it. I actually really like these bags. These bags are cute. Uh, I recommend if you want to come by, grab a quick lunch, you know, it's those kind of spots. Try the blue cheese and then like let me know. Like DM me. I will listen to your blue cheese review. Even if it's not the same as mine. I'll listen to it. Uh, but that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I post everything I'll right here. But that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex, Crates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, the Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Sunny, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Jasmine, Mariana, LT, Adriana, McKenna, Shanta, and Adrian. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!